Hello everyone, I am Pastor Emmanuel and uh, I am curate here in Holy Trinity Church Hanselow. Uh, today we are uh, celebrating uh, the Pentecostal Sunday. As you know, this day um, the Holy Spirit uh, came and um, the, all the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit. And um, the first church uh, was uh, established on the Pentecost uh, day. So in the remembering of um, this day, we are celebrating uh, this uh, Pentecost Sunday. And so today my subject is uh, uh, Holy Spirit. Whenever we um, mention about the Holy Spirit, especially today in charismatic and um, Pentecostal movement, um, we always think uh, um, him about um, a source of power. Every time we mention Holy Spirit, we immediately go to, go to his manifestation rather than understanding him as a person. Holy Spirit is a third person of the Godhead. It's not just a powerful influence. So today we would like to understand him as, as a person. As uh, uh, in Bible, it's mentioned in uh, um, Roman chapter 8, verse 27, he has mind. In 1 Corinthians uh, 11, 12, Holy Spirit has will. He has uh, emotion. He, ha he, he, he speaks. He comforts. He teaches. He leads us. He guides us. He grieves us. He can be insulted. He can be lied. So if we see the whole the personality of a person, we can understand that Holy Spirit is not just a powerful influence, but he is a person. And when we know him, Holy Spirit as a person, we, we, have, we can acknowledge um, him we can have uh, that relation we can have uh, the fellowship and that's why Jesus had sent his Holy Spirit so as we read uh, in our Bible reading um, uh, in first uh, second Corinthians uh, chapter 13 verse uh, verse 14 as Paul says here may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Paul, Paul here is highlighting each of the person of Godhead and their roles in our life. But today I would like to uh, just mention about the Holy Spirit. Paul says, may the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The, the word Fellowship in Greek is koinonia, koinonia. And this Greek word koinonia has a major three definitions. And the first is a fellowship. The word fellowship, it means companionship or sharing together. When Jesus send his Holy Spirit to come and live in us as a person. He wants that we have the fellowship with him. The fellowship develop when we have, um, we have a communication. We interact with each other. Without the, the interaction, without the communication, fellowship will not last long. If we, we want to have a, a, a close and deep fellowship, we have to interact with each other. And that's why the, the Holy Spirit is with us, that we may interact with him. We have fellowship with him. We can talk to him and he can talk to us. So we, if we interact with him, uh, we communicate with him, we can know him more and war. As we, we read uh, in Acts chapter 8 verse 26 and 29, it's written, 
Now and the angel of the Lord said to Philip, Go south to the road, the desert, desert road that goes down from Jerusalem to the Gaza. And verse 29, The Spirit told Philip to go to the chariot and stay near to him. Here, when Philip was in Samaria, the angel told him to go to the desert. And when he reached there, the Holy Spirit uh, told him to go near uh, to the chariot. When um, Philip was um, telling his story to the, um, to the Dr. Luke, who was a uh, writer of the, of the book of Acts, he, he mentioned that when I was in Samaria, the angel would talk to me. But when I was in, 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 in desert, the Holy Spirit was talk to me. He recognized this both voice, the angel's voice and the, and the voice of the Holy Spirit. How he, he, he recognized that this, this both voice was the same. It's different. The angels speak to me and the Holy Spirit speak to me. He recognized the, the voice of the Holy Spirit because he, he has close fellowship with him. He interact with him. The earlier uh, apostle, they, they have uh, this uh, deep and close fellowship with, uh, with the Holy Spirit. Mm, they, they interact with the Holy Spirit. They uh, communicate with the Holy Spirit. So mm, they are very familiar with the, the voice of the Holy Spirit. They suddenly recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit. And today, we have to reach the fellowship with the Holy Spirit in such a level that we can recognize His voice. We are listening so many voices is coming to our mind and we, 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 we don't understand which one is the, the voice of the Holy Spirit and which one is the, um, not the voice of the Holy Spirit. But if we have the close relation with the Holy Spirit. If we have a um, 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 deep fellowship with the Holy Spirit, we interact every day with Him. We listen every day. We communicate every day with the Holy Spirit. Then we can reach this level, such a level that immediately we can recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit. And that's why Jesus send his Holy Spirit. So we have this type of deep and close fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Second uh, thing we learn about uh, the word koinonia. Koinonia means a partnership. May the partnership of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Partnership means working together with the same interest or same goal. In the partnership, it is most important that both the partners know knows each other very well. Then it lasts long. In the partnership, is 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 a essential that we know the both the partners knows each other very well, then the partnership become a more, more strong. I came uh, to the uh, Hans Law in 2014 and I met um, uh, Reverend Stu and um, he told me, let's work together. We are both from the different background. We have a different character. But when we, we started working together, we work more closely, we came to know more about each other, our partnership became more and more strong. And today, we are working together to glorify His name. 
so he, he, with the with the holy spirit also we 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 should have this type of partnership with him we have to work in a such a way we work him very closely with him so we can understand understand him very well we read uh, in acts chapter uh, acts chapter 15 verse uh, Mm, verse uh, 28 it seems good to the holy spirit and to us not to burden you with the anything beyond the following requirement here in this word holy spirit is not speaking with the apostles but still they they knows that it seems good to the holy spirit holy spirit is not speaking to them but they know the desire of the holy spirit they know what is the holy spirit like and dislike they are working so closely with the holy spirit they interact with the holy spirit they know the mind of the holy spirit they know the will of the holy spirit they know what holy spirit like or dislike they are partnering with the holy spirit in a such a way that they know the deep desire of the holy spirit and we have to reach in a such a level or into our day to day life partnering with the holy spirit in a such a way that we can acknowledge him we can communicate with him we can understand him even though he he doesn't speak to him we know that what he's like and what is dislike what is his will that is a to partnership that is to working together that is the association with the with the holy spirit that's why jesus sent his holy spirit if we 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 working with the with the with the we are partnering with the holy spirit he will guide us he will lead us he will teach us and together we will glorify the name of jesus and the third things we learn from um, this uh, uh, word uh, konenia konenia means the intimacy may the intimacy uh, intimate fellowship of the holy spirit be with you what is the intimacy intimacy is the avenue to a deep fellowship holy spirit just not came into us to just give us the power or just uh, uh, give us the gift of the holy spirit he just he came and living in us so that we have the intimate relation with him we have intimate fellowship with him we know him more and more so we can make more use of the holy spirit he may guide us he may lead us and for the intimate relation we we have to long for his fellowship i like uh, uh, this word uh, in 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 james chapter 4 verse 5 in the century version it says like this the spirit that god made to live in us want us from himself alone the spirit that god made to live in us want us for himself alone he want that we are belong to, to him alone that type of relation he want from us 
and uh, and the um, uh, uh, the king james version uh, it says the spirit who dwells in us earns jealously he earns he long for us he desire for us it's amazing thing. the holy spirit he 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 is longing for our fellowship he longing for our intimacy relation he desire for our fellowship he wants to have the intimate and close relation with us so he may feel us more and more he must guide us he may lead us he may empower us and he may give us the different kind of gift to glorify god for that we we have to acknowledge him and receive him as a person as a person he expect us to have fellowship with him as a person he wants us to have a partnership with him as a person he want us to have a intimate relation with him and when we have this kind of intimate relation fellowship and partnership he will lead us he will guide us and that is called a life of leading by the holy spirit walking in the spirit fill with the holy spirit and this is my prayer today we just not ask holy spirit to give his power or give his gift just go to him and and ask him that he may come as a person and as a person we we should have the the relation with him we have fellowship with him partnership with him and intimate um, relation with him and then he will fulfill his purpose in our life let us close our eyes few moment and just ask holy spirit to come come to our life just be quiet few moment he is waiting the holy spirit is is waiting for us he would like to have fellowship with us he would like to have the partnership with us he would like to have a intimate relation with him are we available for him we will say come holy spirit come and take control over my life let me make him the honor of our life he should not be a just guest in our life he should be the honor of our life give our self commit our self 100% and tell him to come and fill us with his presence and we need to constantly conscious about the holy spirit aware of it so he is living us in us and try to live for him if we do this he he will guide us he will lead us he will fill us and he will use for his glory just just ask him to come and have this intimate relation and fellowship with the holy spirit amen god bless you
Thank you so much, Pastor Emmanuel. We come now to a time of ministry, and uh, I'm really pleased that Francis, who's a dear member of our church, is gonna be doing some prophetic violin playing, uh, which I listened to before um, asking the Holy Spirit to come. And uh, let's just now prepare ourselves to meet with God and to invite the Holy Spirit. So let's pray, just as you're sitting or standing or kneeling, you might just wanna put your hands out front and ask now for the Spirit to come. So Lord, we, we thank you, that, Lord, that you are a God who, who meets with us in an intimate way by sending your Spirit. And we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would come now. You would come and fill us. Come and fill our hearts, come and fill our whole bodies. We need you, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Let's just wait on the Lord now. In faith and believe in his fears. these words from Song of Songs, chapter 2. I just wonder if this is for somebody today. My lover spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, and come with me. I just wonder if this is the Lord speaking to you. See, the winter is past. The rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth. The season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Since that's for somebody the Lord is speaking to, let's receive the Holy Spirit this way. As he's being poured out now, I believe that the Lord is, is filling you, He's ministering to you. Just receive Him now, His love for you. Another verse, perhaps for somebody, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 21. The Lord saying, For who is he or she who will devote themselves to be close to me? Just something as, as Pastor Emmanuel was, was preaching, just the Spirit speaking through him, where the Lord is saying, Come and be close to me. Hear those words, the Lord saying, I love you. You are my child. Come and be close with me. And just that sense that the Lord has got so many things he wants to share with you, to teach you, to, to, to enjoy with you in partnership. Thank you, Lord. More of you now in our lives. Come, Holy Spirit.
I just wonder if there's somebody who's listening this morning and you've heard about Jesus and you want to know him but you don't yet know him and you sense that call from the Lord to be close to God and right now I just want to give you an opportunity to do that on this Pentecost Sunday because the work of the Holy Spirit ultimately is to save us to make us like Jesus and we get saved from sin and death and from a life of living on our own by putting our faith in Jesus and so this morning I just want to lead you if that's you in a prayer of salvation a prayer of being put right with God which I'm just going to do now and if this is you you might just want to echo this prayer in your heart wherever you are in whatever part of the world you are in or here in the UK or even in Hounslow here just pray this if you um, have never prayed this prayer before or even if you want to recommit your life to God through Jesus it goes like this and you might want to echo this and pray this yourself dear Lord Jesus I am sorry for all the wrong things I have done in my life you might just want to take a moment yeah, to say sorry for something that comes into your conscience right now just, just lay that down and repent of that say sorry to God for that Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for me to forgive me from all my sins. I now put my faith in you. And please come today and fill me with your Holy Spirit to be with me forever, Lord Jesus, on this special Pentecost Sunday. Come and fill me that I would be with you forever and ever and ever as your child. And I ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer, do be brave and share that with somebody so that they can be praying and supporting you. Amen.